Hey, my name is Wileen Benson, and I wanted to share a little bit about vision boards for you today. I have my vision board in the background, and this is um, just got some galvanized steel from Home Depot, and I <clears throat> um, put some masking tape up and down. I, I did one strip right down the middle, and I did two strips. Let me put this out here so you can see. I've got two strips um, evenly spaced out so that there's six sections in this and so I have six different items that, that I am manifesting on my vision board right now and some people like to do different areas of their life maybe they have a little section for relationships maybe they have a section for um, money or business maybe they have a section for personal goals like health or fitness or something like that I just have um, six different things that I am passionate about and wanting to um, build and create for myself and so they are all on there just kind of haphazardly. I have found that my top right which um, is the pink page that you can see up behind me I have um, found that that section right there gets um, things move a little bit faster in that area than other areas and uh, I don't know why it is maybe it's the top right you know maybe it's the top right part of my brain or something I don't know exactly why that is but you might find that as you create your vision board that there might be one section that seems to rotate through a little bit faster and if there's something you want to accomplish really quickly you might want to put um, put that there in in that area that's going through really fast so I have a fun little story that I want to share with you this is about um, something that I created on my vision board a while ago and this was a shoe shopping spree that I had wanted and it had been about 10 years since I had been shoe shopping and so all of my shoes were starting to wear out they were starting to break I, I had a lot that were out of style you know from clear back in the 80s and it just um, was time for me to get some new shoes and so I created this and put it on my vision board and this has been a, um, probably about a year ago but it taught me some really valuable lessons about vision boards so I wanted to share this with you and it says right here um, $10,000 cash in savings account equals shoe shopping spree and that gives me um, and the shoe shopping spree I had determined that $500 for me on shoes that enhance my invincibility that's what that says and so my um, so I, at the time, this is what I understood about vision boards is I felt like I had to sacrifice, I had to pay a price, there had to be a cost to anything that I accomplished on my vision board. And so I had set that price as $10,000 $10, cash in my savings account, then I would allow myself to be able to go on a shoe shopping spree. So since then I've learned some new, um, some new things and so I'm going to share those with you today as well. Um, but I want to share what happened with this vision board. So when I decided that I wanted to have this shoe shopping spree, I just got online and I just printed off a whole bunch of different shoes. I just clicked on shoe images and just started printing off everything that looked really fun and, um, and just started pasting them on a paper haphazardly. And I have found that if I don't take a ton of time and making it perfect, that I actually accomplish it a lot better if I just kind of throw it on there and stick it up on the vision board and look at it every day then it seems to happen a lot faster so that's that's just my experience and um, anyway so I had all of these on there and I looked at it every day and then one day a couple months later I just thought hmm I wonder how much money I have in my savings account so I got online and I checked I have two different savings accounts one for business and one for personal and added together it was actually ten thousand dollars and I was like wow I've got my ten thousand dollars so that means I can go on my shoe shopping spree so I was super excited for just an, about 60 seconds and then immediately all these things thoughts started coming to me like wow five hundred dollars I could probably put that on this bill and maybe five hundred dollars is a little bit um, too much maybe that's a little selfish for me to spend that on myself and so maybe i could just do a hundred dollars and you know all these different thoughts of why i didn't deserve that shoe shopping spree and immediately i was like whoa what the heck am i doing i earned this i deserve it i need to go on that shoe shopping spree but I didn't take action immediately 
I decided, okay, I do deserve that she bought shopping spree, but I'm going to schedule that a little bit later. And so I didn't do it immediately. That same day, I was out um, doing some errands and I tripped on just a little tiny quarter inch raise in the sidewalk and I was wearing some sandals that were kind of old and the little toe thing that goes in between your big toe and your next toe just totally ripped out and my shoe broke and it was irreparable and rather than getting upset about it I was like awesome and I took my shoes off I raised my arms up in the air and I was like yes I get to go on my shoe shopping spree and so I took those shoes and I threw them in the dumpster where I was and I got in my car and I actually had a couple more um, errands on the way home and just to prove to the universe that this that I was excited and it was awesome I went into the stores that I was going to barefooted got my errands done and I came back out and then I called my daughters and I said, hey, do you guys want to go on a shoe shopping spree? So I went that day, went to one store, found 11 pairs of shoes and that never happens for me to find that many pairs of shoes in one store that I like and that are in my price range and that are comfortable and fit me and everything. And um, But I wasn't quite done. And so the next day I went again and I found five pairs of shoes at another store. And then I went to a third store and found two pairs of shoes. So all in all, I had 18 pairs of shoes. And I finally was like, okay, I think I'm done. I, I feel fulfilled. And so I had my 18 pairs of shoes. I um, got to do this shoe shopping spree and it was awesome. And a few days later, I just kind of had this thought and I pulled this poster out and I counted up the number of shoes because I had not a clue how many shoes were on here. Counted them up and there were actually 18 pairs of shoes on this poster. And so I got the exact number of shoes and it felt, I felt completely fulfilled having that done. Um, one of the things that I learned though over the next several months, um, just in searching out, you know, what really works on a vision board um, one of the things I had put on here was $10,000 cash in a savings account equals the shoe shopping spree. Well, I have found out since then that I had a belief at this time that I had to, there was a cost to everything that I had to sacrifice, that I had to um, pay a price for anything. And I've learned since then that that's not true, that the only thing that is required, there is this one thing that is required for you to manifest anything on your vision board, and that is obedience. I ask every single day, what is the next step for this miracle to manifest in my life? And whatever inspiration comes to me that day, I obey perfectly, immediately. And um, if there is some sort of limiting belief that comes up right after that, that says, oh no, you can't do that, then I address it immediately. I don't try to shove it aside. I address it and um, take care of it and, and then move on and actually do that next step. And so that is the only price, is the price of obedience to those next steps that you receive by inspiration and also obedience to the laws, that um, the universal laws that go along with manifesting everything, like the law of um, attraction, the law of gestation, the law of intuition, all of those different laws um, that I've learned over the years, um, most especially the nine laws of conscious creation. And I can create another video that shares a little bit more about those nine laws. But I encourage you to do um, vision boards and I encourage you to see which of your sections is getting filled out, um, getting um, manifested soonest, and those things that you really want to um, bring into your life, put it in that section and then rotate them around. And just remember that the only cost that is associated with a manifesting anything is just obedience to those natural laws that everyone, that apply to everyone, and complete obedience and perfect obedience to whatever you receive on a daily basis as the next step for you to be able to accomplish that, um, that thing on your vision board. Thank you, this is Wileen Benson.